you really got that from Allen Iverson, huh? Like you, you that's like your hero. I was with him that's in uh, All Star Weekend. I met him finally for the first for time. From like, I felt like I met Michael Jordan or something when I when I when I was in front of him. Like, he's, you know, he's the sauciest man. You never interacted with Allen Iverson nah, before. I that, never get to meet him ever. Nah, Mm-mm. that is crazy. So he's just been an influence in your life. Yeah, he's just the dopest. You know, watching watching highlights, watching everything. Mm. You know. But uh, he ain't got nothing to do with weed because you know we were getting high as fuck too. So I don't know, maybe. Oh, that, for real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AI, baby, we smoking at AI. Where was y'all? <laughs> we were in uh, Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, it was me, him, Snoop, and uh, oh yeah, other current players. I don't oh, want them yeah. to lose any contracts, but uh, yeah, we were just getting fucked up. That sounds like fun, man. So I just thought I'd let you know that so you could be even more happy. I'm jealous. Cause... I'm jealous. <laughs> it's not fair. I just came in off of a mix with uh, Too Young. Uh, of course, your mega super hit, White Iverson, mm-hmm. but uh, I also came in off of Fade. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you finally talk about fucking Kanye West? Yeah. Last time I had you on the phone, you were like, bad Illuminati secret service. I didn't shit. say that, did I? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. That was, yeah. the, that was the MK Ultra controlling my brain. I, I ain't going... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna front. I, I I actually like when I interviewed you all over the phone. I think the song just popped off. Right. It was during the the fashion week, but you didn't know if you could really like. Right. Re-release. Yeah. I didn't want because I didn't know if I was yeah. even gonna be on the song. You know, the final version of the song. Was is there a so different I just version? Did, I just didn't want to talk all that and yeah. then <laughs> and then not be on the song. And then, was that your first like interaction with Kanye yeah. with that record? Like. Yeah, because, you know, I met him at Kylie's birthday, mm-hmm. and um, he's just like, let's get into the studio. So we did. Mm-hmm. Isn't that, like, very, like, that was so random. It's like. weird how stuff happens. And a uh, EDM-type track is your first track you work on. Yes, was was, was that weird to deal with that kind of? I think I, I think it was just a dope vibe, a little funky yeah. vibe. So I just, you know, let's try something new. What what was in your head? You thought you were gonna go in there and do some college dropout type shit or, or no? Some new I mean, shit? you can never, you never really know what to expect, mm. you know. But you know, I he played me, so he played me the song, or he sent me the song, mm. so I could hear it, and then I did like a scratch vocal, and then I got actually got into the studio with him and actually cut the real vocals to the song. How did what was he? Was he going crazy at the booth? Like, like I heard he'd be like, "Who?" He, I tell you what, he, <laughs> he, he's got, he's got, so he's got like this, this pad of paper, with just like thousands of ideas in it, like what? lines that he'll use. Like he just, throughout the day, he'll probably just think of something and write it down and, and jot just it down. Flips, flips through it and comes up with the craziest stuff, just you know, off a of freestyle, off a of flow. You know, we kind of record in the same way, but in his way, he's just. So much more genius than me, you know. And then uh, the fact that you, you know, I shout out you were in fucking Red Lobster. You hang with Toby Keith, man. What, what's this? I love Toby. Keith. You love with these, <laughs> you, be, you be rolling with these country. Hell yeah, man. man. <laughs> is, is, is it because of your style? Like it, it kind of like relates to country, or mm, no? I just think you know. I think because you know a lot of them probably haven't heard of me. Okay. You know, except for maybe White Iverson, if I'm lucky. Mm. So it's like you know, I just have somebody reach out, and then whenever I get really in contact with them. Um, then they look it up and they if they vibe with the music we chill you know Toby Toby was like the sweetest dude get the hell out you of you know he's drinking some of his uh, blue mezcalita what the fuck is that it's like a blue Kool-Aid uh, mezcal like a little tequila stuff and I don't even like tequila <laughs> but it was good we were drinking strawberry moonshine and oh wow and smoking cigars and playing guitars and Get the hell out of here! It was fun. That you have a. Weird it was his birthday. Existence, man. Yeah, like, I know. I'm a weird guy. And you, you hang with my my nigga Guy Fiori. That's my yeah, homie. He's always yeah. up here. He's the sweetest dude. You know, too. I'm a weird nigga too, man. So <laughs> me and you, we both live these weird lives. Like Dolly Parton. I you mean, never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. <laughs> you know. I mean, every time I go to like like Houston or Dallas, like when when I play your records, it's like you don't give a fuck about. The vibe of the speed right. that everybody's on. Right. You really are on your right. own speed. Yeah. Like you you, you slow it down. And right. You, you know, and then and then people, when it comes on, people scream the hooks and they don't mind waiting until the hooks right. come. Exactly. It, so why why go that route? Why you never wanted to like speed? speed I mean. Lately I've been working on some faster stuff. Oh, yeah. It's the same vibe, it's just faster. Is it so but you still have the Yeah, it's like it's like ambient stuff, but it, you know, it's got some nice drums, some nice eight oh eight good stuff in there. What the fuck are you smoking when you do that shit? Is it cigarettes? Nah. You don't smoke no weed? Not no more. 
Get the hell out. So you got to tell me all the earlier hits was not connected to. No, yeah, those were. Okay. Those were, yeah. But then I, I, I smoked some weird stuff. Somebody gave me like a wet Jimmy. What the hell? What? Yeah. Yo, 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 it's like it's like your friends. It's at, like la- <laughs> listen, listen. The time, the times. I was, I was, you know. A wet Jimmy. Yeah, man. That's it was like PCP or something on there. Get- <laughs> what? Get I was running naked that. around the streets. <laughs> nah, it just gives me weird anxiety now. It's like one day. Yeah. You're smoking like crazy. Out the volcano, smoking blunts, uh-huh. everything. And then the next day you're like, whoa! I feel like I'm uh, gonna die. Get all like on some hallucination. Yeah, type crazy like shit. so. I don't know something. Something in between having fun and dying. That's where <laughs> I had to stop. Yo, I give up. <laughs> Stony. <laughs> Very. Uh, I mean, it's self-explanatory. Like, yeah, that's where the name come from. Like. You you got all the pie heads like zapped up now, man. You know, I I, I still I feel like you know what I feel like I'm permanently high. Mm. So I don't even need to smoke. No so more. you don't even need the weed to get a pop. <laughs> even though it's legal everywhere, you gotta go to tour Cali. How did it feel to sell out? Uh, you know, New York, man. It was like, lit. That's like a hard crowd to to have it's everybody tough. come out. It was lit though. Um, I had done, I d- I done a sold out show in London the night before. Oh man! And then I did a sold out show here, so I'm feeling good. People seem to like the music. And you don't need any. Um, you didn't need any like extra artists to come through. No, you just did it. No, all. we just had uh, a couple of the homies come through. Okay. Um, Mozart and and Fresher and just turning up. My God, man! So New York. I mean, once you see you got New York. I mean, London is gonna love you anyway because right. of that fucking the whole reggae gangster motherfuckers out there. It's a different <laughs> vibe in, in London, right? When yeah. You... Oh yeah. My manager from Brixton. Oh oh well, that's all I need to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, yo, a lot of rappers' jewelry is still in Brixton. For real. <laughs> For real. Yo, it's real rapper jewelry. Is he said, man, tour. man's got the hood pass though. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> He said, man's, man's got a leather jacket in it. I'm not even making fun of it. Safe like, in the street. <laughs> a lot of wankers, a lot, a lot of wankers got their, their watches touring London. Like, it's just at nah, the it's, club. It's, like, it's, he said, we we was in the, you know, they, I just don't feel like nobody wants to hurt me. Yeah, you, it's, why are you so fucking nice? Like, all the shit going on in hip hop. You're like the nicest fucking guy. Why? Why? I like, I don't know. I feel like everybody got beef. But I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to get my own. You know, we can all get, <laughs> we can all get money at the same time. There's mm. enough. There's well over enough money in the world. My God, the, the, the one time I saw you spaz <laughs> out, I don't know if it's real or not. But when you were choking Bieber, oh that, no, that wasn't real. We were was just a, trolling. I knew it. You know, I was telling my boy that he was like, "Yo, why you do that? That's terrible." No, it was fun. <laughs> we I'm, just wanted to make everybody think we were mad at each other. But that shit looked real as hell. He looked like he's about to die. <laughs> <laughs> He looked like he, he was like, good. Ugh. He was safe. He burnt me though, so <laughs> I had to get him. <laughs> so the burning was real. The, no, the, yeah, but that's a that's a that's we bullshit. burnt we burnt each other back and forth. It's like we're just we're just a couple lads, you know. <laughs> just a couple guys. The record on your album that's kind of like eliminates the fact that you did Joker, but uh, I mean the having him on your album. How right. does that feel, man? It feels great because that's out of here. That's yeah, like no, on some that's other crazy. that's some other level, like. I mean, I don't know. What do you call that when you have B-Bro on your album? I don't know. How the fuck did you become his homeboy? Like, I don't know. So we were just in the studio. He came to, and um, he asked for a beer. I gave him a beer, and we, we had a chug off, and I beat him, and then he beat me, and then we were beautiful friends ever since. Get the fuck out of here. That's it? That's it. It's as simple as that? Yeah. You Holy know, whenever, shit. I think, whenever, like, genuine people get together, we just have fun. God damn. Yeah. Did you send your album to uh, ASAP uh, Rocky, one of your good homies? Did, you, did he get a, a initial hearing of it, or no? Did he heard it before it came out? I know we about to get in. Mm. Oh, oh. We about to get in and get oh. weird. You about to get you about to get Come weird. On. Oh shit! ASAP Rocky, you Post Malone. I've been I've been fucking with him for like the longest. The like fuck? I wanted when I was a little kid, I wanted to be him. Like I was like. 17 I want to be ASAP so bad get but the now, fuck now out. I get to work with him which is now you're you man you good man <laughs> play Shade 4 or 5 Eminem channel hopefully one day I'll see Post Malone and Eminem you know that'd be kind of that'd be fire too can you get Eminem down to your level where he could be smoothed out like you or, or you I think or, he or, could you know, or you gotta, I think he's good I think he I think he could do it Does is, is he part of your catalog have you ever like got influenced by Eminem I in mean I, I I was never really heavy into like 
heavy into it and uh, i haven't really listened to the new stuff but the, whenever he was working with dre and making his own stuff mm. it was like really, the classic weed yeah it was shit. really fire oh. and the song he did with biggie was like one, one of my favorite oh uh dead wrong, dead wrong. <laughs> yeah it's one of my favorite tracks <laughs> yeah that's crazy and he's spinning some crazy shit they both are actually the- <laughs> they, they, they just dead wrong for that one shout out to metro Boomin. i was like, out partying with him the other day and uh he shouted out that he was on your album, and he really is. He's I, the sweetest guy, man. You you actually went in the studio with him to do that, or yeah. you sent it? Mm-hmm. Oh, so I was at the work with him. He's very like, uh, is he humble or? Is yeah, he... he's super dope. Um, it was him and Frank Dukes. Okay, and they're just super dope. He made the beat like right there. Is yeah, he there? he the the way he does drums. I don't know how he does it, but there's something. There's a, like a different tempo on it. Okay. There. And it's like either really fast or really slow, but it gives it that crazy swing. It's like, isn't it incredible. weird that he that he don't play you beats, but he make the beat right there it's in crazy. front of you, and you're just like, it's crazy. Get the fuck out of here, because usually an artist chooses right the track or whatever they right. want to do. These guys like eight oh eight, like the whole eight oh eight mafia cat, like you know, like uh, Sunny Digital, right. Southside. Right. They, they do the tracks like right in front of you. Yeah, no, like, and that's that's the best. Um, that's the best when you get the best music. Mm. Cause it's like custom tailored. It's like a fine fitting Gucci suit. Oh yeah, so it's, that's crazy, man. And you just walking in, and he just does the shit. It's right. crazy. It's out. <laughs> it really is outrageous. Like I make beats, but it takes me forever. Pharrell is another legend. Yes, sir. Pretty boy, motherfucker. How is it the fuck with him, man? Uh, dream come true. He he did like go crazy. At the, was he crazy in the studio, or I mean, he's very like you know. I mean, up we there. Do, we talked about conspiracies. Get for like three hours aliens and, and shit like that yeah i mean different stuff different stuff the weird stuff that's going on in the government right now i talked to him about food or something like he said the, <laughs> the food is like i think it's like mutated or some shit oh yeah yeah we're and everything that we eat right now sucks for us and we're not supposed to eat it so what are you eating now right now like uh, I, I, chick-fil-a <laughs> <laughs> it's a, mcdonald's dude it's a, i mean shit i don't like go all out, <laughs> exactly right <laughs> <laughs> Pharrell, was that a different uh, style to fuck with? Like, you know, is his no, beat style? Kinda... I mean, yeah, and you know, he, I, I, I really fuck with him because he makes unique, like every, you know, if it's a Pharrell beat, okay. And he's just super dope, and he was super dope to work with, and and you know, I plan on making some more goodies with him. Uh, do you like? Uh, is there a favor for favor sometimes with these guys, or how many tracks you did for Metro, and how many tracks you did for Pharrell? I mean, I think, I think. With 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 that, it's it's a relationship that we're building, and of okay. course, there's there's you know, they get you know love from the album and and you know in future songs as well. I mean, you say you could talk right now. How many tracks you did with Kanye? Um, a couple of them. <laughs> 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 right, so we got a Brixton cough going on. Get this guy some fucking tea or something. A cup of <laughs> a cup of tea, mate. <laughs> Any uh, hidden uh, messages behind Stony? Is there something you want the fans to know? Like you have, uh, like I said before, you have a different like type of like right. weirdos out there. What what do they get from Stony? And, and if I'm new and I want to fucking start fucking with your right. shit, what am I gonna get from Stony? I mean, if 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 you if you're new, I guess I mean. I think it's super dope and I think it's super musical and instrumental and the melodies mm-hmm. are on point and I think it, it you know there's some there's some sad times or some mm-hmm. and this and there's turn up times you know um I just think it's a super dope body of work um <laughs> I like this I guy. mean you know <laughs> I don't know what else to say fuck, it's man. dope yeah it's cool <laughs> there was no influence behind Stoney like anybody that who gave you the, the name why, I mean, why, why Stoney they, I'm, used I'm, to, they used to call me Stoney Maloney back when I was smoking oh, okay. weed so yeah that's where it came from and that's I want to start producing and I want my name to be Stoney Maloney <laughs> did you have an uncle that made you rap like why did you why, why did you rap like I just know? love I just love hip hop I love what was the first time you Touched a pen and put it on paper. Oh yeah, like, I never, I never really had a, a pen. I just used my phone always. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So what? what you had like a flip phone or something? What was the yeah, first? Yeah, yeah. They get, they get. You know, whenever you flip, I started rapping. I was like fifteen. Damn. I'm twenty one now. And who was around you? Because you know Eminem had his crew. Who was around right. you? Right. I mean, no, like my parents. I didn't have nothing. I just made. Listen, I just made beats and started rapping over it. And then I was like, you know what? This is kind of dope. 
Let me really do this. Yeah, do a know? movie on you, man. That shit is funny. I, I have the craziest life. <laughs> the most boring life is somehow is so crazy. Keep, though, like, <laughs> fucking, like, I'm going to see you on a horse in fucking Texas one day, man. With like the with like the the lever action I know. Winchesters on both sides with pull them out. Django fucking three or something. <laughs> fucking uh, post below, man. I love the fact that you a very cool motherfucker, man. My Mikasa Sukasa, man. He tell you Thank what to come through, man. Appreciate you. Any uh, you want to shout out any like secret shit you doing like Dr. Dre or anything? Anything going on? I mean, on? I wish shout out. Like, come on, come on. You want to make it up, Dr. Dre? Let's it happen. <laughs> let's make it up. Who get um, Dr. Dre post below? Me, baby. me and Jesus, me and Jesus Christ making a song. Right now, I oh, know, man. It's coming. We doing a whole mixtape. Me so. and God was fucking some hoe yesterday. For so. real? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. crazy. I let him go you first, crazy man. for the F one? <laughs> you crazy? We out of here. Thank what? you so much, man. One triple eight <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs>